welcome back to Matt's Cigars and Whiskey. Second time lucky with this video because I just recorded it, went through the playback and none of the sound had recorded at all. So I'm having to do it again, which isn't a shame uh, because you'll find out in a little while my thoughts on this whiskey. But this whiskey is the Ardbeg Ardcore. Don't have a bottle of it with me, unfortunately. This is the committee release one at 50.1%. This was sent to me by my good friend Jigs from over at Jigs Reviews YouTube channel. Go check him out. Fantastic videos he's doing. He does a lot of whiskey. He also does hot sauces and some other types of drinks as well. Spot on reviews what he does. So go check him out. I'll include a link in the bottom of my uh, video in the actual description if you go back onto the main page. Now the Ardbeg Ardcore. Luckily, Jigs is a member of the Ardbeg committee, so he gets his actual hands on the good stuff, you know, the Ardbeg committee releases. This Ardcore was released in two releases, I believe it was 46 or 48, and then you had a 50.1, I believe it is, uh, percent whiskey, which I am not going to complain about at all, because like I say, you'll find my thoughts out about this in a minute. But the Ardbeg Ardcore, uh, it says, from a distillery with more ups and downs than a pogoing pump comes alcohol. I'm just reading off my phone because I haven't got any notes written down for this. Created with roasted black malt, roasted to the extreme. The spirit is all about what happens up front and centre stage. The malt is what defines this distinctive pro uh, profile. Described as tasting like bison on a spiky ball, hardcore is a dram that wears its heart on a sleeve. It's black heart. Now that to me says it's going to be a massively peaty dram. It's from Isla. Home of the peat, home of the peated whiskies. Our beg is renowned for being a very, very peat forward distillery in what they release. And I'm thinking this is going to be no different. But 50.1%, I'd say definitely no coloration, um, no chill filtration. Look at the viscosity of that. It is gloopy, it is thick, it is holding on the glass, very oily. That to me is saying that it's going to be a long finish, there's going to be a lot of flavours in there. Because obviously if it coats the glass, it's going to coat your mouth as well. That's the way to tell if a whiskey is going to really hold in your mouth, you know, nicely. It just literally coats the glass and it slides down slowly. And as it slides down, you know, that is what it's going to do within your mouth, on your taste buds, on your cheeks, all around the top of your mouth as well. That to me is saying it's going to be very nice. But like I say, second time doing the video. And all I'm going to say is... I'm quite chuffed that I will do this again because this is such a nice whiskey. Fairly peaty. Grapefruit, citrus, peat within there as well, chocolate in there as well. And as like I say, there's, there is a very maritime type brininess come through with us. Berries. but it is very fruity smelling, very, like I say, maritime as well. It smells absolutely fantastic, but let's take this on a palate, let's see where it goes. Yes, the spikiness is there straight away, but it is full of sweetness. It really, really is. This dram, what I get from this is I get smoked, Gammon, cooked gammon, the saltiness of the gammon, but with that gammon I get cranberry sauce on the side as well. So you're getting the sweet, salty, smoky brininess all coming together, clashing. That is blooming fantastic. Pineapple in the back there, pineapple in the back there as well. Very fruity coming out through the back. But like I say, it's the gammony sweetness mixed together, which I, I love. I absolutely love this whiskey. It's such a blooming lovely whiskey. Bottles of this at the minute are going for £200. Is it worth that? I think it was released about £150, maybe even slightly less. But, you know, obviously secondary market, sought after whiskies do go up, and I reckon this is a fairly sought after whisky. The finish for this, very sweet, mouth-watering, smoky, fruitiness carries on. You know, the, the brininess is within there as well. But it is mainly the sharp, juicy fruits coming through with the brininess that make it what it is. And I absolutely love it. It is fantastic. Right, two drops in this. Let's see if it changes. Palette 
palette wise has taken away quite a lot of the uh, smells coming out of this. It's, you can smell the brininess within there, you know, it's the brininess to me is, if you ever walked along a beach, high tide, winds blowing on shore, quite a rough sea, autumn winter time, and you get the, the sea spray in the air, you know, and you can, you can taste it in the air, you know, and that is what I get from this, it's very, very sea spray saltiness, which then accounts for the smoke gammon as well, because obviously your brain goes on to different flavours that account with that. And with the sweetness mixed in with it, it's, this to me is a Christmas Day, Boxing Day dram. It really is. Don't know about you out there, but when I have my meats at Christmas, Boxing Day, mainly because that's when I have the gammon, all my meats on a plate and I will get my cranberry sauce and I will just put it on with the turkey and the gammon. And gammon and cranberry sauce is an absolutely fantastic mixture. And like I say, that is what I get from this. But with the water, with this. Mm. The water opens it up. It's 50.1%. Two drops of water in there. You get a lot more sweetness come out of this. The smoke seems to peter off a little bit. The brininess comes out. And the, you know, I think from what I'm getting from this, pineapple, grapefruit, cranberry, red berries in there. And you have the brininess just coating over the top of it. And with this, as you go into the finish of this, the smokiness rolls back in, the brininess is still there, but the sweet, sweet blooming fruits that are coming through take over this. This is definitely by far my favorite drink I've had from Ardbeg. I'm not going to lie to you, this, this blows everything out of water. It's a 9 out of 10. It is a fantastic whiskey. This is one of my... This is what I like in a whiskey. You know, I like my brininess, I like my smoky, and I like my juicy fruits. And to combine all that in one with the hardcore, yeah, they've done very well. Very, very well. And like I say, it is still available, but it is on the higher, pricier end of the market. Will I get myself a bottle? I might treat myself for Christmas. I really, really might treat myself for Christmas and save this for a Boxing Day dram when I sit down with my cold meats and my cranberry sauce, watch a film and have a couple of drams of this. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to leave that there. Like I say, 9 out of 10, beautiful whiskey. If you get a chance to try it, definitely try it. You know, you can get your hands on it. By all means, have a dram. Tell me what your thoughts are. Right, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel and you've got this far, first of all, well done. And also, thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Give it a like if you so wish as well. Just helps me try and beat the YouTube algorithms because they are an absolute nightmare and just gets my channel out more to the masses. If you are a regular viewer to the channel, thank you very much for watching as always. And I will leave that one there. I'll see you in the next review. Take care of yourselves. Slancher.